up and coming and hot. That's how we like to get them here on In the Limelight. And with us today is DeMarc Thompson. Thanks yes, for bringing by the show. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Your yeah. career is on the rise. It's on an upward trajectory. Thank you. Where do we know you from? Uh, let's see. I've been in the last two Hunger Games, Veep on HBO, After Earth with Will Smith and wow. his son Jayden. A uh, pilot for TV called Suicide Brothers. Uh, Stepford Side Chicks, that is a web series that I'm in. You're also in Mirror of My Soul. Yes, Mirror of My Soul. It's based off a true story. Didn't we act together in something? You try to pull a fast one on the Chinese government. You and your accusations. Bottom line, we're no different. Two businessmen out to make a profit. And there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Intimidated, scared the hell out of me, guys. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? You moved from Maryland to Los Angeles yeah. and your dreams are coming true. You know, it was just, it was, <laughs> it, it really is. It was one of those things where you just can't really plan for it. Mm. If, you, if this is what you want to do, all you have to do is just say, okay, I'm going to do it and go. You're a very conscientious actor. Yes. You're on it. You're working hard. You're Thank busting you. your chops and taking control of your career. And yeah. one of those aspects is the Green Lantern campaign. <laughs> yeah. That's how I actually know DeMarc. I, right. On Facebook, he spearheaded uh, a Green Lantern campaign because mm. you wanted to play Green Lantern, the John Stewart yes. Green Lantern. And I, that's my favorite superhero. Nice. And that's how we connected. That's, that is. That's the truth. <laughs> Tell us a bit about that. It was something I thought about after I moved here. Um, it didn't start right away, but friends of mine who saw other A-list actors who wanted to play Jon Stewart actually saw my face as Jon Stewart and reached out to me and said, why aren't you going after this role? I had already thought about it. So it's like, okay, well maybe I need to do something about this now. Mm. So I went on Facebook and I just put two images together, an image of me, an image of Jon Stewart and just maybe three lines that said, hey, everyone, I am officially campaigning for the role of Jon Stewart. Please follow me and follow my journey. I remember before I sent, before I pressed send, send on the computer, I was sitting there like, am I really about to do this? <laughs> and when I did it. Because it could then, backfire. It could, yeah. Right. And that's what I thought about. It's like, right. can this thing backfire right. on me? When I pressed send, it went out, and within that hour, I was getting responses. Really? From, from fans? Yes. Comic fans? Yeah, comic book fans. They were like, how tall are you? How strong are you? I mean, do you have the muscularity of John Stewart? How tall Stewart? are you? I'm 6'3". Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, how know, much do you weigh? 220. Oh, 220 pounds. And you've got the whole pecs and abs situation yeah, going on? Yeah. I've been working out since I was 14. Green Lantern. <laughs> so you, you did a video. Next step was like a video campaign. Yes. Yeah. The next step was to take a little further. Let's take a look at it. In the brightest day, in the blackest night, No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light. There you go. Yep. So yeah, and I, it, it was so much fun. It took about five hours to get all that together. That's it. And directing. You're, you funded it yourself and yeah. you, you had yep. creative collaborators, put it all together. Yeah, and then, Kawhi Matthews is her okay. name. She's and, brilliant. Awesome. And then yeah. social media kind of took fire because yeah. you've got a lot of traction, right? Yeah. I mean, they, they grabbed it and they started sharing it all over the place. And so. you've been recognized. Yeah. So <laughs> I've been recognized in restaurants and really? airports that literally stopped. And it was like, are you the guy that's going after the Green Lantern role? That's and crazy. A lot of times I'm, I want to sit there and be like, nah. <laughs> but, you know, I say yes. And you've got a lot of uh, fans from Comic-Con yeah. who are supporting y you. And they, they are. actually want you to be John Stewart. They do. And people are creating images on um, Instagram and wow. sending it to me. It's like, we, we believe in you. That's amazing. And we trust you. We know you're going to do a good job in this that's role. That's amazing. It's so much fun, though. Hang on a sec. Mm-hmm. I kid you not. I really <laughs> am a Green Lantern fan. He's a fan for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a geek. I mean, you got Green Lantern. There's Jon Stewart. Yep. <laughs> Green Lantern Corps. And here I am with a potential 
Green Lantern. Isn't that crazy? It's, this is wonderful. <laughs> this, this is what we, we like to see. I mean, because I'm a true Green Lantern fan as well. But when I see it like this, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, it is great. <laughs> well, when they create the first Asian Green Lantern, call me, okay? I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> um, well, the Justice League movie is coming out. Yes. And rumor has it Green Lantern will make a surprise prize finale appearance, probably mm -hmm. it's going to be the Hal Jordan Green Lantern, yes, which will. still leaves the possibility of Jon Stewart in subsequent Green Lantern sequels. So yeah. I and, hope uh, the you Green get Lantern it, bro. Corps. I hope you get it, bro. Uh, thank you. That's I amazing. You. Yeah. Green Lantern Corps 2020. Like I said, we get them while they're hot and fresh. <laughs> Up and coming. Get them now. <laughs> A year they won't be talking to me. Any um, showbiz advice or revelations you can share with aspiring actors? Yes. Create a plan and stick to it. They're, this industry is relentless and it's going on 24 hours a day. I've known two people who moved here, uh, one from Philly and one from DC, who came in and just thought the world was gonna be handed to them. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't. And they got distracted looking for, uh, looking for love. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, and, you know, just <laughs> a bunch of other things, but not focused on, Career. okay, I'm here in Los Angeles now. Let me get some training. Right. Let me figure out how the whole industry works. Let me figure out how to audition in front of these casting directors mm -hmm. because they can tell who has training and who doesn't. Right. So set those goals and stick to it. All those other things will come into play. You have a very touching personal story about mm -hmm. um, you pursuing your acting career and it involves your mother. Can you share with us a bit about that? Yes. So in... 2013, my mom was diagnosed with a terminal brain tumor. Mm, and, sorry to hear. Thank you. And I was really getting into acting. I was getting away from cybersecurity. And I was like, you know, Ma, I think I want to change. Mm. And she saw the fire in my eyes and she heard in my voice and she was like, well, maybe you should. So this tumor just grew in such a rapid way that it took her vision, her mobility and her speech. Jeez. So before all that happened, I remember we were sitting down. It was like our last, it was, it was our last full talk. It was two hours long. I'll never forget it. And in that, uh, near the end of it, she grabbed my hand. And she said, promise me you live your dreams because as you can see, life is short. And I promised her. So I came out here and dedicated everything to the memory of my mother. So when I go out and audition in loving memory of my mom, I book a role, uh, I say in love and memory, and I say hi, mom, because I know she's watching. It's a wonderful story. So, yes. Yeah, Thank you for sharing that Thank with you. us. Thank you, my pleasure. And making me cry on my own <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's here. I think mom is proud and will continue to be proud. Oh, yeah. So good on you. Thank you. Okay, now let's lighten things up and yeah. go into the rapid fire <laughs> tuning. If I could have another actor's career, who would it be? Samuel Jackson. Mm, good choice. Yeah. Women have a problem being called chicks. Do you have a problem being called hunk? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Finish this sentence. Mm -hmm. Taking off my shirt for a scene is? Fun. Actually, in an audition, I had to strip down to my underwear. I kid you not. <laughs> and they were like, okay. And I thought I was going to have to leave the room. They all just sat there. They were like. <laughs> True or false? I size up the competition when I walk into a room. False. What's your biggest turnoff? Self-centeredness. I prefer A, blondes, B, brunettes, C, redheads, D, multicolored, or bald. Oh my gosh. I mean, all the above. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, whew, it's really no preference. I mean, if they're a cutie pie, I'm like, yeah, blonde, brunette, red. <laughs> Who rings your bells and whistles on the sex mirror? Actress, singer, model? Ah. Uh, that is a good one. Right, um, like you haven't thought about that. <laughs> you know, Tessa, Tessa Thompson is... Tessa Thompson? She, yeah, okay. she is a cutie good choice. pie to me. Mm. Good choice. Mm. Multiple choice. Mm -hmm. I prefer A, Asian, B, Caucasian, C, African American, D, Hispanic. And this is in reference to... <laughs> My guests are so smart. Because <laughs> if you're talking about food, I'm like, <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> to wrap up. Yep. You, my personal mantra in life is? Honestly, just do it. <laughs>
there really isn't a right time to do anything. You just do it. <laughs>